Hi, I'm back. Um, it's been a while, but I feel like it's always been a while. If you notice, um, behind me, looks a little different. Don't mind that these fell out. But besides that, um, I moved, which is part of the reason, actually, all of the reason, really, that I've been absent from YouTube. But fear not, I know you're going to ask yourself, Ronald, are you still pursuing Spanish? Well, actually, yes. Um, I'm not going to lie. I mean, my first three months have been, were far more um, prosperous than my last three months. Um, but, you know, a lot's been happening. I actually purchased this apartment that I'm in now. Um, yay, adulting. Woo! Anyway, uh, so yeah, so that that whole process was kind of taxing, time-consuming. Um, but, uh, whatever. I'm here now. Um, and I'm here with news for you. Can you guess? I mean, it was kind of, it, it's probably going to be in the title. Um, I'm starting promo roll, please. Lingoda. I'm doing the Lingoda super sprint. Um, I, I'm, I want to say these used to be three months, but now they're just two months. Maybe they were always two months. I'm not really sure. Um, I feel like they were three months because I, I remember, um, remember, remember seeing them or something about it, and it just feeling way too long. But anyway, we're doing the Lingo to Sprint, um, starting out in level uh, A2.1. Um, yeah, you know, I... I wasn't really sure if I wanted to make a video before I started, but then I was like, yeah, of course, why would I not do that? I want to relay my thoughts before the process begins, you know, um, questions like, why am I doing it? What are your feelings and goals and all that good stuff? So, am I excited? At the moment, yes. Though, if I had made this video when I was originally planning on making it about two or three days ago, the answer would have been, no, nah, not at all. No, nah, I'm not excited at all. But that's kind of the reason. Long story short, I was sending the super sprint to a friend of mine because she was talking about improving her Spanish. And I was like, oh, they're doing this. You can get your money back. But then I was like, well, Ronald, why don't you do it? And I, and I went back and forth, and I was just like, I don't know if I want to go through that process of, like, being in a class. And this is even more of a classroom setting because it's small groups as opposed to base language, which is one-on-one. And honestly, it was that apprehension that kind of made me go, I should do it. I should do it. And then I signed up and I was like, all right, cool. Let's, you know, all right, all right, all right, you know, let's get it, let's get it going. And then I went to um, book classes and I'll show you. Um, I wonder if my settings are still in there. Yeah, so right here you can see, I think you can see, yes, so. Right here, you can see how I've learned. You can uncheck these. And basically, these are the classes I already have scheduled. Um, this is the class I'm just not taking. Same thing for level three. All right. So long story short, they want you to go in order ideally, but not unless you have a completely open schedule are you able to find these classes. Um, 
it's not a really good example right now because Monday is tomorrow, and I'm actually there's a lot of classes now. There's a lot more classes now, you know, which is also kind of weird because. All right, well, not to go off on a tangent because it's only supposed to be the preview video, but you can't cancel within seven days of taking your class, right? Which kind of, you know, I'm, I'm going to hold that thought for a little while. Maybe... Maybe after the first month, I'll come back to that thought. But there's a few differences between Lingoda and Baseling right off the bat. And that one was kind of a big one for me. Um, the fact you can't cancel within seven days is, is, was a big one. And the fact that they're marketing themselves at a 24-7 platform. And that's not the case. Um, maybe they're 24 seven for all of their levels combined. You can find a class, but no. So it makes it a little bit difficult. Whereas opposed to with, um, baseling, I could go in order, you know, like I quite literally, like I did all of level one, you know, I did, uh, basically 20 of 23 to level two, I, you know, I could, I could go in order because the teachers taught everything and maybe these guys do too, but you know, I could go to teacher and say, Hey, um, I want to go and do lesson 33 and they'd be like, okay, let me put lesson 33, you know, da, 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 da. but here you can't, whatever. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to make this a big thing because I haven't taken any classes yet. Um, I will say one thing I like more so than – one thing I like more so than baseline is – let's go to my first lesson. Um, the website's better. So I'm not going to hold baseline because it's very simple. I mean, simple might even be better in some instances because, you know, since every teacher teaches everything – you don't really need a super complex, you know, thing with uh, layout. Um, I do like Lingoda's lesson layout better. They act, they they put money into graphic design. Do you need it? I mean, I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I appreciate it. Um, uh, let me just throw up one of these. Am I doing present tense? Let me just throw up simple present. Oh, maybe that's, I'm not sure if that works. But anyway, you see, this is just very bare bones. You know, it almost feels like very bare bones, you know, where. This is very graphical. There's a flow. It feels like a textbook. Um, do you need this, though? It's a question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I will um, find myself really engaging with the material because these are 32 pages. I'm not printing out these. So, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to find myself engaging enough to where, you know, I appreciate the effort. Um but I don't know. We'll see. Um, another thing, just preliminary that I like, testing by yourself instead of you testing with teacher alone. You know, Baseline has testing, but it's led by a teacher, which, I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world. Like, none of this stuff is, is the end of the world. You know, I, I'm just trying to get my initial thoughts out before I'm influenced by actually taking the courses. Um, so yeah, I'm not even sure if this video is worth anything. <laughs> but I'm making it. Anyways. Uh, yeah, and that's it.
uh, 60, there'll be 60 classes I have to take over the next two months, one class a day. Um, yeah, and that's it. I, I don't know what to say. That's it. My Spanish will continue. Um, if these two months go well, then I will uh, do the super sprint for French next. In the meantime, I will try and do some update videos, maybe halfway through, you know, broadcast how I'm feeling about the scheduling process, the classroom settings. Um, any any tips that I kind of feel would be useful, anything I'm finding out. Yeah, and then hopefully I complete this without missing any classes or, you know, without missing accreditation for any classes. And then I will make a follow-up video, of course, comparing Baseline to Lingoda. That's it. That's what I'm doing for the next two months. Doing Lingoda. It starts tomorrow, Monday. It ends sometime in two months. Hopefully... I'm starting at A2. If I could get to B1, like, a, like, a, like an actual B1, or I feel like I'm communicating at a B1 level, it'll be good. And then we'll see. I don't know. I might go back to baseline for a month if I feel like I'm, you know, could benefit from that. Either way, I'll let you guys know what's happening. If you have any questions, write me I, I feel like I'm generally pretty good at least within the first couple of weeks of these videos coming out and then I kind of just lose track because I'm not signing into YouTube but yeah I don't know just kind of rambling at the moment see you